finding the right real estate agent for your investment strategy. Hey YouTube, welcome to Mentorship Monday. Today's question comes from Jim. He emailed it in to help me at theroastergroup.com and that's what you guys should do with your questions so that I can answer them right here on the YouTube channel for you and everyone else to learn from. So thank you, Jim. Jim is just getting his feet wet in real estate investing. He wants to build his team. That's right, Jim, because you can't do it by yourself, can you? Mm -mm. You gotta have a team, group of people. You need a lawyer, you need a CPA, you need some other folks, and you also need a realtor, which is what today's video is all about. Jim's question is, um, I figure this is the first link in the chain is a good real estate agent. Are there any tricks to this? Well, you know, tricks like this. How do you get an agent to take you seriously? I know that they may, I know they make money from their, their selling of properties, but is it a good idea to offer incentives or bonuses or something like that, like of that nature? First of all, Jim, no, you don't want to be offering realtors incentives or anything like that above what their commission is. Um, I don't know if that's 100% legit. You could perhaps offer them a buyer's fee or um, something like that, but typically agents are very happy to get compensated as a percent of what the sell price is on the property. And if it's not your listing, if you're buying the property, they'll get paid on the, um, on the buying side. Uh, unless you're working with a commercial agent, which is a whole other animal. We can talk about that in just a second. Uh, so here are a couple of ideas for you, Jim, and for everyone else to find the right real estate agent and to get them to take you seriously. Number one, you want to search in the geography that you are looking. And so if you're looking in Albuquerque, New Mexico, or if you're looking in Trenton, New Jersey, or wherever it is you're looking, you want to search around that market. And if you, it's even better if you have access to the MLS, but if you don't, you can look on realtor.com, you can look on Trulia, you can look on archives of, uh, of real estate transactions to see who sold a lot of the houses in the geography you're looking at. Let's say you want to look in this zip code of the city of Philadelphia. Well, that's where you want to shop. You look to see which agents sold the most transactions in that neighborhood over the last 12 months. Okay. Um, you can get that data uh, up from the few of the sites that I listed. Okay. Uh, just, so just first of all, see who's active there. You don't want to pull, even though agents are licensed to work anywhere in the state that they're licensed, you want to get agents that not only are licensed to work in the area you want to be in, but also know that neighborhood. They're like, oh yeah, here, here's a good rough and coming neighborhood. They can kind of take you by the hand and show you some of the parts that some of the, the nuts and bolts of the neighborhood you want to invest in, right? That's why you want to get someone that's local. They've got buyers, they know contractors, they're connected in that local area. Um, and that's so that's number one. Uh, number two is you want to find someone who's active in the type of real estate that you want to get into. So if you're looking to buy small rentals like single family homes, duplexes, triplexes, then find the agents that have sold single family homes, duplexes, and triplexes in the geography you're talking about, right? So the biggest mistake that, um, that uh, investors will make is they will take an agent that is active in this type of real estate and ask them to help them with transactions in this type of real estate. The funny thing is when you have your real estate license, you're allowed to help people trade any kind of real estate. You can help somebody buy an apartment building or buy a single family home. One of the, either one of the two. And most agents, because they want to make a commission and they want to help you as their buyer and they want to stay your active person, are going to offer you to help you with anything. They're going to say, yeah, sure, I can help you find a 20 unit apartment building. I can also help you with that fix and flip. And I can also help you with that small multi. And I can also help you, help you, help you all different places. I wouldn't, I think that this real estate, the, the, the successful agents that I know in real estate are kind of stay in the lane and focus on specific facets of real estate, um, or specific areas. So if you're looking to buy an apartment building in North Philadelphia, you want to look around to see which agents sold apartment buildings in North Philadelphia um, recently in the last 12 months or a year, or whatever, in the last 12 months to two years, whatever it is. And if you want to do fix and flips in your own in your own neighborhood, that agent that can help you with the fix and flip is most likely not the same agent that can help you with an apartment building, even though they might tell you they are. Okay, um, don't you know? Just focus, let them focus on what they're great at, and they'll they'll help you even more if you can just allow them to do what they already do really well, which is fix and flips or small rentals or whatever that may be. Okay, and the third thing is. And this will make them call you more and allow them to trust you and work with you and, and uh, take you seriously is whatever deal they send you, okay, look at it. 
physically go look at it if you can. Go meet them out there. Take them seriously. If you don't like it, tell them why. Don't just say, nah, I don't like that rental. You know, tell them why you don't like that. You don't like the deals that they send you. Okay. Um, and just take every deal they send you seriously. Treat it like gold. And um, and I think that that will continue to elevate you up in their up in their buyer pool. So those are three tips to my man Jim to get agents to take you seriously. Okay. You don't miss to Jim's question. You don't necessarily have to offer them a commission or anything like that, or offer them additional fees on top of what their commissions are unless they're a commercial broker. Cause a lot of times commercial brokers don't share their commissions. So if agent A is listing an apartment building um, and agent B is with a different brokerage house. Agent A is not going to pay agent B a share of the commission. So you may have to pay agent B for showing you the property that agent A has out there, especially if they're with brokerages. Okay. Uh, so that's the one aspect of real estate when you probably are going to have to offer to pay the agent a fee uh, for taking you in front of deals. Okay. Uh, that's what I got for you to guys. Thank you, Jim, for your question. Great question today, guys. Uh, don't forget to email them to help me at derosiagroup.com and check out our YouTube page if you want to hear more about what we're up to. Thank you, Jim. Thank you for watching everybody. Have a great and profitable week.